Sport behind me, an Alpha GTV. Let's have a look at her. Wow. Let's take a look around. I'm just looking at her now as the camera's facing me and I'm looking back at the car in the camera. Damn, she's so sexy. This is an Alfa Romeo GTV, 1997, phase one, three phases of the car, built between 95 and 2005. So here I go on a whole, I learned a lot and did a lot of research and throw it all your way so you know what you're looking at. I wanted the two litre twin spark. And I know what everybody's gonna say, then why did you want the twin spark, etc., etc. But, Twin Spark because I wanted the rev in, and plus I couldn't afford the V6. So I needed. I, I love the Alpha design. I think it's one of the most beautiful cars ever made. Won car of the year in '95 when it's released by Auto Car. Um, oh baby, turn it into the corner. cylinder head made by Alfa Romeo and it's got two spark plugs per cylinder so on your Ford Focus or your Honda Subarc you've got one spark plug per cylinder <laughs> petrol we have two two don't want to be rude spark plugs per cylinder which you get <laughs> and that gives this little pokey engine 149 brake horsepower, but as I'm a man, that's definitely, oh baby, baby, ooh, baby, 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 that is definitely 150 brake horsepower, like it's 200, like it's 180, etc., like it's 400, 440, it's the same sort of guy. Anyway, so I wanted one, and this one I got. Picked it up privately from a chap in South Wales, over the Severn Bridge. You know the part where you have to pay to get in the country. Oh. You have to pay to get in the country, but they let you out free of charge. Yeah, take that immigration. Anyway. <laughs> and I went over there, bought the car. I love the car, I love the colour, I love the driving position, I love the interior. I want I wanted one that was reasonably good mileage. This one's done 65,000 miles. Paid a thousand pounds UK. Don't know what that is in dollars. Should imagine $1,400. Don't know what that is in euros. Just something, because that's changing daily at the moment. Some euros. And I wanted this one, this interior. These, this interior, designed by Momo. You know, the guys who do your steering wheels, do your wheels or your rims. And uh, you know, it's got the Momo leather, it's got the great driving position. I'm looking at this beautiful Alpha steering wheel. 
I love the gear change. I love the engine. I love everything about it, really. I love the visibility. Well, the visibility is not great at the back. But I also... Oh, but I also... Can't... I also love... The driving position, I love the comfort, the seats are so comfy, I love the ride quality. But being a used car purchase, there are some wrong ones. There's some faults with this bad boy. And quickly remember, wind coming through here. I got wind coming through here. Oh, nice houses. I got wind coming through here. Up here, the window, the window doesn't sit correctly. The windscreen motor moans as it goes up and down. I've got a door sill on this side, which means sometimes the door doesn't shut properly. Let's come away. I've got an airbag warning light. I've got air conditioner that doesn't work. I've got one, two, three, four, four. There you go. I've got whoa, mega, 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 mega. And what am I going? Right, left, maybe. I think I'm going right. Aircon that doesn't work, I've mentioned that. So yeah, the GTV. Oh I do like Burks, but not as much as I like. Ah uh, yes, I know where I am. Oh, it needs a proper good service. And what I mean by a proper good service, every single general wear and tear part you can think of needs to be replaced from a mechanical. So I need discs and pads, I need all new sparks, I need full oil, filter, air filter, I need belts, there are two belts on the twin spark engine, a balance shaft belt and your cam belt, so they need to be done. But hey, it was a thousand pounds, well spent. So now I'm just going through countryside suburbia, hoping I can get out the hell out of this, this little village I'm in, or is it town there? It's definitely a village. But yeah, I've got two cracking dials, I've got three smaller dials down here, I've got a good gear stick. My fuel economy, if you buy a thousand pound car and you're run, worried about fuel economy, go buy a nine grand Fiat Panda and get free tax and get 70 miles to gallon. Seriously folks, this one, good carriage, this one, Get you about 30 mpg. I mean, that's just an average. I say that because in my head, everything's 30 mpg. Everything. I've uh, got a V8 M class, 30 mpg. I got a V8. I got a TDB6 Range Rover X5, 2.9 liter diesel, auto, MP 30 mpg. I got a McLaren F1, 30 mpg, sir. Now the handling, I'm going around this roundabout, I'll go around twice. Ah, ah. <laughs> the chassis on this car is awesome. Let's side, two seats, there's no, no third seat in the back, 
and that's about it. Your boot space is rubbish. I've got to do it. Here we go, Jet. I'm back from the drive with the uh, Alfa Romeo GTB behind me that we just purchased and um, God, I'm, I think I'm just one lucky man. Let's see if I can try and get it into shot a little bit better. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh. She is pretty. So anyway, yeah, I'm back from the drive with the Alfa GTB. I hope you enjoyed it. If you might, if you like the video, thumbs up and then uh, Touch wood, I can do some more and uh, get some more uploaded. But yeah, look at it, look at it, look at it. The, the Alpha GTB.